Gagan on this side. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to discuss how you can add agent force agent in the Salesforce Experience Cloud. So you can see this is a screenshot where there is a uh, sorry, uh, this is the experience side, and inside the experience side, you can see this agent force chat. So this is the agent force chat. So if you have built an agent force action and you wanted to add that agent force action chat there in the experience cloud, how you can configure this. Let me go to my environment and give you the demo quickly. So this is my one of the experience cloud you can see and here in this experience cloud site i have added the agent force action this is agent force action and let me ask the question so if you have checked my previous video we have used agent data library where the agent force will give you the answer based on the pdf that you have attached so let me ask this question let's see if this agent force is giving me the answer from this pdf or not if you have not watched my previous video, you can go and see how you can basically add the PDF in the agent force action and how the agent force will use your PDF to give the answer. It's like a knowledge article you can attach. Okay, so I'm asking this question. My laptop is crashed frequently or shows a blue screen and death. Let's see how what answer is providing it giving me the same answer. Yes, fault RAM can indeed be common. Can you see? So this is how you uh, this is how basically agent force action work on the community side. So now we will gonna see how I have conf configured this. So let's suppose that you have created your experience side. So this is the experience side and you wanted to add the action. You wanted to add the agent force action or agent force chatbot. So for that, uh, what you have to do, you have to basically go to the com component and yeah, you have to add embedded messaging but this embedded messaging will not come unless or until you have done some configuration so what are that all configuration that you have to do these are the steps you have to you have to configure in your sandbox or in your in your environment so first of all what you have to do um, so basically this is the agent service section if i go again to the setup and go to the agent force Okay, so this is my agent force action that I have configured. This is the same one that I have showed you in my last tutorial. So the second one is the agent force service agent. Okay, this is the one that, that I have added in the community site. And if I click this one, and if I go to the connection, and if I go to the connection, you can see that I have connected one omni-channel flow. So you have to do some sort of configuration and one of the configuration is omni, omni channel flow so the first step is in order to add the agent force section experience cloud is you have to activate the omni channel of your environment so you have to go to setup and go to the omni channel settings and then yeah omni channel settings and then you have to make it active make sure that this is active and enable the omni channel and then make it safe and click this automatically log agents in the omni channel this 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 option and then click save first step is there and the second step if this is done okay what what is the second step you have to create done so you have to create the routing configuration so in order to route the basically task to a particular user we use the routing configuration this is a part of service cloud i'm not going to discuss this but still you have to create one so if you, you check the one that I have created, you have just given the name of the routing configuration. I have given the priority and I just given the unit of capacity to you can increase it to three or four as well as per your requirement. So you have to create this routing configuration. So why, why this week we are doing this configuration? I told you, right? In the experience side, you have to configure this embedded messaging. So in order to configure this embedded messaging, we require all of these settings and the and the basically the configuration that I am doing. So first step was you have to make omni-channel on, then routing configuration. I, this routing configuration is created. It's simple, you have to give the name and give the priority and then just it's done, okay? And after that, the third step is queue creation. So you can see one queue is already linked with this routing configuration, but this is I this part I have already done, but I will show you how I have done. We, after creation of the routing configuration, you have to Go to queue, click user, click queue, and in the queue, click new. Okay, you have to click new, you have to give the name, 
and then you have to choose the same configuration so i created a service service agent configuration right so so actually i have i think i have already uh, let me search if which one is available yeah this is the one that i have created the routing configuration that's why we have followed the second step before creating the queue because this was needed in order to create the queue so you have to choose this and then you had here you have to choose messaging session messaging session is allowed as an object in this queue and then you have to choose your name and then you have to provide the name whatever the name you want to wanted to provide and then you have to click save so i have already created the queue so you can see this is the same queue i have given the name as a messaging queue and uh, queue name is messaging queue and supported object is messaging session and the name of the user that who have the access of this queue is Gaganan, which is me after that what you have to do you have to create a lightning flow you have to come go there in the lightning flow so this queue configuration the name of this configuration we have to give in the lightning flow so for that you have to go to flow so you have to go to the flow and then you have to create omni channel support flow okay i think the flow i have already created this is the flow okay so if you just go yeah if you just go to the flows if you go to the flow and if you click new flow there is an op option to create the omni channel type of flow this one so you have to choose this and then you had to click plus and then you have to add route work so this route work is action to assign route the work to the basically sort of queue and the queue that we have created here in the step before creation of the flow why we have created queue because we have to give this reference in the lightning flow and why we have created routing flow configure routing routing configuration record because we have to give this reference in the queue and why we have created omni channel because it's required to enable active the omni channel because all of this linked with the omni channel so in the routing work you have to give any particular name test let's suppose that and then here you have to for this you have to create a new resource and your resource size should be variable and data type should be text and you have to give the name record id this is basically standard thing that you have to do you have to assign this one else if you will be make trying to activate this it will give you the error so record id should be in the record id variable and then you have to uh, search the service channel service channel should always be messaging and routing to you should routing to agent service agent this is this is basically the same agent action that we have configured and here the same and then in case if the basically queue is failed then to whom it should assign it should assign to the same queue fallback queue if it is failed to assign to the this particular agent force action then it will go to the queue this is what you have to do you have to create this flow i will show you that i have already created this is a route to work and here i have choose so this route to the option is for nothing but for the agent force action that you have created so i created the agent force action for that agent data library is agent let me search so yeah i was trying to add this agent force action in, into my community so you have to give the name of the same agent force action here in your lightning flow route to and agent force service agent this is how i have created uh, created this okay and what is the next step once you create this flow flow builder to route uh, route the text to the your agent force channel you have to go to the messaging channel now next step is messaging channel why why we are doing this step messaging channel one after the flow because we need the reference of the flow in your messaging channel that's so that was the priority so i have to go to messaging channel you have to go to messaging component oh sorry messaging settings so you can see i already created one messaging settings so you had to click new 
you have to click start you have to choose this messaging for in in app ad you have to give the name you have to choose web only and then you have to give the domain name so this domain name is nothing but your site domain name so our site is this one second oh, oh, oh. so this is the site okay my site you can see this is my site and basically end of the site is this the main what i can say uh the last signature of my site is my site.com so you have to copy this and you have to provide here in the messaging channel and then you have to click save like my dot site dot com you have to give any name test test and then you have to click next it will ask you where you have to route to so you have to route to the omniflow and then you have to provide the flow definition and fall by queue. You give any, so flow definition should be, you know, you have your flow name and uh, your flow name is Omni, start with the Omni, right? So it is coming, Omni channel. And the queue name is nothing but, so that's why we have created lightning flow before creating the messaging channel because we need the reference of the flow so that whatever the chat is coming through this messaging channel, it will go via that flow to your agent force, agent force section. So that's why we need, had to create this lightning flow. And now here in the fallback queue, you have to give that queue name in case of fallback is happening. The queue name was messaging something. And then you have to click save. It will create a messaging channel taking time just mention that it, it can take up to 10 minutes but anyway i'm canceling this because i already created one messaging settings so you have to provide all of this information okay so remember i provided the omni channel flow the same flow name that we have created this is the omni channel this one omni channel flow and i provided the reference of the queue that we have created and then and then you have to make sure that your messaging setting is active so this messaging setting should be active when you're creating this um, um so they are two this is the last that i've created uh can i delete this i think there's no option but i can make this inactivate i believe this should be an option to make it inactivate no option okay Mm. Okay, so now they are two channel. Anyway, I don't, I, I don't want to create this one anyway, but this will work. After you have created the messaging channel, uh, go back to my slide. You have to make sure messaging setting is on. Yeah, which is already setting, which is on. And then you have to go to the embedded service. This is the main thing. In the setup, you have to search embedded. Embedded services, and then you have to click this button, Embedded services deployments, and then you have to click new deployment. So you have to create a new, no, irrespective, like this has been already uh, created or not by the messaging services. So you can see we have created this one messaging um, service, right? This messaging setting service, uh, and the same embedded service, the same messaging service, the embedded services has been created, but no matter if it's created or not, you have to again click the new deployment and then you have to do the configuration. And what the information you have to provide there is, you have to provide the name of your messaging channel that you have created. Uh, let me let me create one more for this test one so that you can you guys can understand this. Click next, click web, click next. Here you have to provide the domain name is the same domain name my.site.com. Messaging channel is the same. What is the messaging channel? Is a taste, right? And then you have to provide the name and then you have to click save and it will create the embedded services. As soon as you create the embedded services, back, back. You have to go to your site, okay? um so how you have to go to your site you have to go to setup search sites
and in the site oh sorry i have to search uh, digital okay and then you have to go to all site then you have to go to all site and then you have to click whatever the site uh, in, in whatever the site you wanted to add this agent for section and then you have to click builder on that particular site and then this is my site and i wanted to add that embedded services so you have to go to component scroll down and here immediate services you have to drag and drop here you have to click publish after dragging and drop you have to just click publish i think there's no change because i have not dragged it uh, as it's already been added to this page and then what you have to do in order to view whether uh, your agent force action has been added or not you had to click this and click view agent services and then here here you go you can see this agent force action is coming now and this is the same agent force action agent force service action which was which was created by me i think in one of august when i was giving you the demo of that um, uh, adl agent agent force data library where all the answers are coming from this this pdf this is how you can configure if you have a, this is another thing i forgot to tell you um, so this is the last thing that you have to make sure which is security course but for my case and i was doing this this poc i i didn't had to add this but just make sure that security yeah security course you have to just make sure that you had to add this https star mysite.com because star means all the sites which is ending with my dot site dot com it will be basically allowed by the security of the salesforce because all of our site is getting ended with dot my dot site right so in order we can provide this url as well but instead of providing the whole url you can just put that all the site which is getting ended with this my site dot com just allowed it so you have to just make sure that and then you will be able to configure your agent force action in the uh, experience cloud sites if you have any doubt you can reach out to me and please subscribe my channel thank you